I've teamed up with a friend to try and print some clay reclaimed from a building site. It's still full of larger stones and debris that we need to filter out and reduce the size of the particles in her clay. This is quite time consuming and a bit messy. I wonder whether this is too soft. Because it has larger particles than clay that you'd get from commercial supplier. We had to water the clay down, but we watered it down too much. I spent some time trying to thicken it back up again with some drier clay. I want to talk about how stiff the clay needs to be. Seen other people talk about it, and I've definitely spent a lot of time trying to work out how stiff it should be. The main thing, it needs to be stiff to hold up, but I find if it, if it doesn't mess on your hands and it doesn't stick to your hands and pull apart when you freeze it, it's too hard. So fixing the consistency of the clay, it was printing pretty well. We were preparing this clay for a short course that I was doing with a friend on 3D printing with reclaimed clay that we did at a local university. The students modeled a variety of different pots using a few different brushes and they came up with a quite a wide variety of different designs, which were really nice. The file make, it was set up to make it quite easy for new New students to come up with their own designs without much prior knowledge or teaching on how to use Blender. Here is the G code represented in Blender. I've added a vertex modifier that means you can add patterns to the pot quite quickly. Set up a few predefined patterns that you can add. If you want to add a different weaves to your pot and you can change the shape. Um, and if you want to you can do some sculpting on it as well. There's three, and then you can sculpt around like that. So you can do some quite fun things. This will be on the G-Co like this. And then if you wanted to you can add some weaving patterns over the top of it as well to add, make quite fun little designs quite quickly like this. Quite a fun little file you could mess around with and get you into designing 3D printed clay in Blender. Comment below and let me know if you're interested in the file. So I'm going to share that file on my Patreon. If you're interested in the file, subscribe over at the Patreon. Yeah, so give it a go.